Hey guys, it's Kudagon Mad. Welcome back to Night Cry Project Scissors. We are here with Rooney aboard the Oceanus once again. So I've been having a lot of issues with the game crashing, and I don't know why. I've had to actually re-record a couple parts. Um, well, actually, I only I didn't get that far before it crashed, but on the counter is a single piece of paper covered in writing. I don't know if I've captured it in my videos, but there's these lists of names that are on the like a passenger manifest. Um, I found one in the first chapter and one in the second as Leonard, although I don't know if they made the cut um, because as I've said, I've had issues with the game crashing, but I think they're people who may have contributed to the Kickstarter, I don't know. So we're gonna actually go back up to Harry's suite. Um, well, the area of Harry's suite, and we're gonna actually go back to the billiard room, which I believe is this way. And if the game crashes again, I am done. I don't know what it is, if it's my computer, my PSU, or the game, I have no idea, but it actually crashes my video card to the point where my monitor shuts off. And it's happened a few times in this game. I play other games pretty regularly and I have not seen this happen. I went in the wrong room, damn it. There's actually nothing in here. At least not that I saw. I ran into the... Wait, first of all, because I know we're going to get chased in a second. I wanted to run down here just to see. I know we can't go in this room, but... Oh. Well, you can't interact with the door whatsoever, so it doesn't really matter. Let's go into this room. Rooney cracks me up. Let's just see if there's anything else of note in here. I was thinking earlier today about how much I actually really like this game. I haven't said it enough, but I'm having a lot of fun. It is a throw throwback for sure. Pools played with nine balls. Quite a few of them seem to be missing. So I have this theory that the snap and post from Saul is a clue. Like we're gonna have to set up billiard balls, pool balls somehow, bubble ball. <laughs> but I'm not really sure. I guess we'll figure it out when the time comes. Let's see. There's a wet circular impression on the table. It looks like someone was just here. Someone has left an unfinished bottle of whiskey. You better down it, girl. If you're gonna make it through this. If I'm gonna make it through this. I don't see anything, so let's go. <laughs> let's go look at this dead body. Oh, no, I don't want to die. Damn, Scissor Walker, you're good for having giant scissor hands. Oh, wait. I guess, I guess the Scissor Walker put the scissors down to throw those darts, but whatever, it's okay. I'm still very impressed. For a second, it looked like I could interact with something, but it's just a lie. There's no interacting with anything around here. No, don't go that way. I really don't like how she likes to go the complete wrong direction during the chase sequences. And she hobbles around like an old woman. Let's go into Harry's room. Uh, can we hide in the closet? No, we're gonna hide in the bathroom. There's like dead moths, dead butterflies, or dead moths in the bathtub. This isn't good for me. <laughs> okay, girl, you need to go, like, immediately, because he's going to be right behind me. Go. <laughs> we're going to go left, and we're going to hope the game doesn't crash this time, because I literally just did everything that I've already done in the game. I didn't make it very far. 
And if the game crashes in the same place, then we know that there's something up with the game. Go in here. And then we went into this room, which is some kind of bar. I was surprised I could actually go in here. Okay, and I don't actually know if there's anything in here I can use against Scissor Walker, but there's like some hands on there, ew. It says Scissor Walker's over there, but I don't believe it. Okay, there's like nothing in here for me to use. These rooms are really barren when it comes to actually finding stuff. Oh, I'm dead. I am so dead. Hi! <laughs> oh, it can't get me! <gasps> it can't find me over here! <laughs> um, Scissor Walker. You can leave anytime. Um. I think you're having a problem. I would love to help you, but I really can't, so... Can I actually... <laughs> Come on, we're gonna... We're gonna go down. No, we're not. No, it doesn't! <laughs> it's having a severe, severe problem. Oh my god, it died. <gasps> no! Okay, I can't move around. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna come down here. Oh my god, go! It still appears to be having a problem, but I don't know if we can go this way or not. No. No, go the other way. No. Oh my god. Problematic camera angles. Oh no. Hi. <laughs> this is so dysfunctional. I'm so sorry that you have to witness this just bizarre behavior that's happening right now. Oh my god. You're gonna get up and you're gonna go because I really can't handle this. You're gonna go. You're gonna go out the door. You're not being chased by a serial killer with giant shears or anything like that. Come on. Go out that door. Oh, I see an elevator. Wow. We're in a, like, a cinema. We're in the cinema. Can we go in this door? No. Of course we can't go in that door. That'd be way too easy. Can we go in this door? Whatever this is, go. Don't stop for nothing, please. The game likes to get very confused about where Scissor Walker is, but... Oh my god, hide there. I don't know what you're gonna do to hide, but whatever it is, do it. Oh my god, oops, I wasn't ready. Um, you can literally see me. <laughs> like, don't deny that you can see me. Oh, I think I'll just go this way, you know, like, um, I can't find her even though I'm, like, staring right at her, but you know. <laughs> How can someone be such an excellent shot at darts but, like, can't see somebody that's, like, right in front of their face? That part I don't understand. It's mind-boggling. It really is. So I really haven't been able to explore because every five seconds I'm running into the scissor walker. But that's okay. That's the name of the game. We've had more action here than we did in the whole first chapter or a second chapter combined. I don't know if there's anything we can look at. Sorry, I'm very paranoid about the recording. I need to like stop recording and continue recording just because the last recording that I did, a bunch of the footage got corrupt again from crashing. It's just a whole thing. Like, it's so terrible. And I need to save frequently because I don't save enough, apparently. 
There's nothing really in here other than a giant screen. The projector is only emitting light onto the screen. Maybe the film has already ended. There's like not much to do in here. I, mean, I guess I should just continue looking a little bit longer. I love the idea of being in a movie theater running away from a serial killer. Oh. Kelly? <gasps> no, Kelly, please be alive. You're the nicest one, even though you're still kind Kelly? of a bitch. running from it, then I fell and hit my head. Ouch. It's left a lump, all right. Where'd you go? Still good to see you're alive, too. You didn't run into that thing. She has, like, a deeper voice. I did. I managed to escape somehow. I don't know how. I, the thing had a seizure. Aha, uh -huh, so even the Death Wish Diva has enough common sense to run away from that thing? Excuse me? Why are you such a bitch even when I just, like, helped you off the floor? The nasty movie theater floor. Uh, I'm kidding. Relax. Right now, we need a plan. That thing's still out there, right? Presumably. Most likely, we need to think of a way out of this. Here's hoping there is one. I have a plan. I'll use you as a human shield. Security fired their guns at the thing and it ate the bullets like candy. Oh, that's tragic. Anyway, I'm gonna go scout around, see if I can find something to lie low here. Huh? Boy, you're slow. I'm trying to give you my number. You're going to need it, right? You're so rude. I hope you die. <laughs> oh, right. She's so gonna die. Oh, I can look at her snap and post. I'll be sure to manage it long after you're dead. Gotta find the others, just hope they're in one piece. I guess if you're still in one piece, the odds are good that the others are too, you know, because they actually value life. <laughs> well, she kind of has a point, but um, there's no need to be rude. I mean, Rooney is suffering some severe psychosis. I don't know what it is. It's a little girl that is like everywhere and she talks to it and we know she's not the only one that sees it, though, because it appeared even in Monica's scenario, so... There's definitely more. I'm glad I took another look around this movie theater. There's definitely more to Rooney's story that we haven't figured out. Alright, come on. <laughs> we don't know what her deal is with walking. That's the main mystery of the game, but... Presumably, we will figure it out. Oh yeah, let's look at her snap and post, but first I want to get out of the movie theater. Let's get out of Dodge here. Uh, was that already like that? I don't know. But let's look at the phone. So we have Kelly Butler. Can we call Maria? Professor Maria Ortiz? No, we know we can't call anyone, but let's look at the snap and post. Um, Kelly is not very active, apparently, and we can't post anything ourselves, so we are going to continue on. It's locked. It's not going to open. I want to go back to that bar first and foremost, because there were clearly arms of some kind hanging about. This smells like popcorn. The food inside has the serving cart is probably spilled everywhere. The lower part of the serving cart is stained and the faint smell of stew is wafting through the area. I don't often go to the movie theater and think, hmm, I wonder what kind of stew they have. <laughs> Can I get some stew for $12.99 please? It's not opening for some mysterious reason because there's nobody in there. A number of explosions can be faintly heard. There must be there must be a film playing. A movie's playing at a time like this. Was 
Is somebody crying? Well, I don't know if we're gonna solve that mystery anytime soon, but I'm curious about all these posters. They look intriguing. Okay, we are totally saving, by the way, because corrupt data is not something I fancy. Please? <laughs> I should recharge my smartphone just in case. I wish I had an instantaneous charger like this. I would give my firstborn for one. Alright, come on, let's go. Alright, let's go back up up into the hallway of doom. <gasps> eh, that scared me. Kelly, what do you want? It's too soon. Rooney, that you? I've just met up with the others. Where? Yeah, you know the cargo hold in the shopping area we're hiding in? How did you teleport past me? The doors look like they can take a beating better than any other place on the ship. Okay, I'm on the way. Just one thing, we've locked the doors from the inside. We'd be screwed if that monster got in here, so give me a call when we're there and I'll let you in. Okay, so I should call you when you when you get to the doors. What? Don't keep us waiting. But I'm not ready. I'm totally not ready. Okay, fine. We will go into the bar, then we will go straight into the shopping center and go there. We have like a weird lack of items happening. Please don't run into the scissor walker. I can't take it. There's not enough places to hide from it in this game, I feel like. There's only like two or three that we found, and one of them was clearly not reliable. Go. Turn your light on just in case. Uh, don't make a noise. It's an old, beaten-up jukebox that's seen better years. None of the lights adorning its frame are working. It's meant to complement the interior. Well, that's just special. Looks like some spilled wa water spilled from a glass onto the table. Ooh, it did turn on! Please tell me that, uh... It's not going to summon Miss Thing. This is a, ba a base piece of work. What? Is there any purpose in displaying its victims like this? Analyzing the motives of a monster won't get me anywhere. I'm so confused. Am I, am I that tired and delirious? It's like the butcher bird which impales its prey for later consumption. Look at this painting in the background. That's actually creepier than the mannequin arms or human body arms or whatever the f. f. Is there anything worth finding in here? Or is this just more bullshit? There's a ball on the counter. It's a little larger than a ping pong ball. Upon careful inspection, the ball has a number printed on it. It's a billiard ball. I wonder if someone took it from the games room. Billiard ball C. Uh, it's the lights are working. Why did it suddenly buzz to life? Hitting several buttons like protrusions at random yields no results. Okay, well, we're gonna go. Because we're not up for this shit today. Oh, wait, is there anything down here? Let's just go have a look-see. Uh, it's a card key reader terminal. Looks like a party elevator for crew members. So actually Monica has that, we don't have that. Presumably Monica could have come down onto this floor, but I don't know where she is at the moment. She went somewhere with Eric and we haven't heard from her since. Oh. That creeped me out. So I don't know, should we go back to the games room? I think we're gonna actually go downstairs again. 
I'm only assuming that the fact that it's called Billiards Ball C means that there is another Billiards Ball A and B somewhere that we need to continue whatever puzzle we have to do. My neighbors are really annoying. They're very loud and they're very irritating. I hate them. <laughs> A dash of blood taints the edge of the sofa. They're so concerned about the embroidery and the um, furniture and the um, the walls and the wallpaper and the damage to the coffee table. It's just bizarre to me. Um, there, you can't save enough in this game. You really can't. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Check all this elevator. It's probably going to say we can't use it. All the lights on the elevator are out. This might be the same one that is like the main elevator. Go under here. Whoa. Oh, there's a door. Did we already go there? That might be the door we went through to begin with. Yeah, I think it is. So we're gonna go back this way. And go. We're not going to go into the children's room because we already did that. We're going to continue on down past this hallway since that just goes back to, to the department store, I think. Unless this is where the department store is. Oh, there's a door down here. It's a bathroom. Nothing good is going to come of this. Ah, I have to get a close-up look. Um, <laughs> there's something wrong with the electricity. I have to get a close-up look at this, too. Someone came in here to clean their wounds. That's not good. Oh, a locker. I have such good luck with these things. A mop, commercial detergent, a brush, the locker stock with full, a full complement of cleaning tools. We might be able to use that against the scissor walker in some capacity. Um, hi, scissor walker. Ew, why am, I in, why am I in here? Open the toilet. The porcelain toilet gleams spotlessly. It's the cleanest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Go out. Am I stuck forever? Why is this happening to me? How do I leave? <laughs> Why can't I leave? I'm sorry, I'm being very whiny, but I literally can't leave the bathroom. Really? Oh my god. Is this is this real life? Guys, I had to close and reload, and I actually went to the forum to report the bug, but it, apparently some people have already reported the bug of being, like, stuck in the bathroom stall, and the developers are aware of the issue and working to resolve it. Meanwhile, we continue our quest. It's the scissor walker. Don't be stuck in there again. No! Okay, good. <laughs> I should have looked in the turret, actually, but... Should we? Let's just do it, just in case. Just in case there's something in the toilet. A lot of times, there's like a key in the toilet. No, it's just got a polished luster. It doesn't look like anyone was attacked in the bathroom. Well, that's good. Let's go out here. And Scissor Walker will be having fun in the third one. Oh. Ew, but there is something in there. Is this hair? But why here? Uh... That's disgusting in every single imaginable way. Somebody was washing their hair and flushed it by mistake. Anyway... We've literally found nothing in this room. But I think if we do get attacked again in the coming moments, this will be a good place to go. Hopefully. Bathrooms have always worked for me in Clock Tower games. Let's 
go this way. And don't crash, please. The game crashed again. I don't know. Okay, for some reason, when we go down this hallway, the game crashes. It has happened to me three times in a row. So we're going to go all the way around and hope that the game does not crash. I don't know if there's a cutscene in that hallway right now or what the hell the problem is, but we are going to go back this way. Not a problem. We will take the scenic route and we will be fine. I would just like to make some progress in this game. If it isn't too much trouble. Whoa, that mannequin looks weird. Let's go in here. The mannequin has blood on it. It is a person's head, and it's gonna summon the thing. Well, let's look over here, see if we can get some money. A cash register is open, but any money that might have been there is gone now. So we can't have that. People care so much about money, even at a time like this. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do, especially when there's wedding rings caught in vending machines. You have to take coins whenever they're available. Let's look at this. This is... The head is clearly of a different texture to that of the mannequin, and it carries a faint scent of blood. That's not creepy. Is that it? Well, I guess that's all she's gonna do about it. Oh my god, it fell! Ew. <laughs> the neck from which the head fell is covered in spots of blackened blood. I wonder whose head that was. It's probably that lady that was talking about her pet cat being on the ship. Well, now you don't have a head, so what are you gonna do? Let's move on down the hallway, since I think this is the only place we haven't explored. As far as I'm aware. Kelly mentioned a cargo hold where everyone is hiding, so we're gonna use... Kelly said to phone her when I got to near, to near to the cargo hold. So let's do that. Let's call Kelly Butler. Let me in. I need to be saved. I'm at the doors. Well, considering the frickin' scissor walker came out of, like, a bathtub hole, <laughs> I don't think this door is going to protect us. But that's just my thought on it. Whoa, everyone's in here. Is that the cat lady? I don't know. Let's go talk to these people. Oh my god, I can't stop moving around. Let's talk to you. Um, nice to meet you. I'm Rooney. Angie! My, my. It takes a special kind of person to greet someone so normally, given the circumstances. I'm Angie. You only got here a little while ago, right? Did you come across survivors out there? No. <laughs> I can't find my husband, John Thompson. Maybe you've heard something? No, I've only talked to... I've not talked to any survivors other than Kelly. Oh... At the end of the day, he's a very capable man. He's probably safe and sound somewhere, but still. All right, let's see if we can exhaust everyone's dialogue. Is there anyone on board that you're worried for? Yes, I'd like to at least know if they're still okay. I'm hoping she's talking about Leonard, her actual family. Of course, of course, everyone has someone they treasure. They're like the t-shirt you can never be without. You don't realize how much they mean to you until they're gone. Aww. I pray your special somebody is safe and sound. Me too. I'll pray that they're somewhere safe. I don't give a shit about John Thompson, but you know. Okay, yeah, we've already seen it. Let's talk to this interesting looking man. Hello, young lady. You seem quite tired. Are you all right? I'm fine, thanks. I've only been chased around by the scissor walker for hours, but whatever. Right, don't let yourself get in a panic now. Everything will be fine. <laughs> Look at my shirt. <laughs> to be honest, this kind of situation almost makes me feel excited. You creepazoid. Okay, he doesn't have anything else to say. He's just here to be killed. That's my theory. His name is Male Passenger, for God's sake. I mean, would it be so difficult to name him, like, Chuck or something? We know if his name is Male Passenger, he's going to die. He's probably a Kickstarter. <laughs> I'm starting to, like, I don't know. I'm not annoyed of the Kickstarter shit. I've just, it's worked its way into the game. I have to live with it. We know that the cat lady was probably a Kickstarter. We know that the fashionable girl in the hallway was probably a Kickstarter. And the guy looking for his brother with his scary falcon eyes 
was probably a Kickstarter, but that's okay. Let's talk to you. Is this the creepy Vigo one-eyed man? I'm awfully sorry that things came to this. Yeah, right. We don't believe you. Huh? Surely there's no need for you to apologize. Of course. Oh, there is. I'm Vigo Borodzov, the owner of the ship. And yet, I don't have a clue what's happening or why. I am responsible for everything that happens on the ship. Okay. We believe you. Would you like to touch my eye? I don't suppose you've run into the ship's captain. He's smiling. <laughs> He's supposed to assume investigative command in these kinds of situations in place of the authority. Okay. Unfortunately, I haven't seen him around since the monster appeared. I did see the first mate and he's dead. Wishful thinking. I just hope he hasn't already run afoul of that monster. He probably has. Let's get real here. <laughs> you need to face facts, Vigo. He's dead and you caused this. I don't trust you. Rooney, you're safe. Yes. What about the professor? Professor Leonard, isn't he with you? No, I'm trying to find him myself. Oh, yeah, right. You're trying to find Harry so you can get it on. He called around an hour ago saying he was searching for a way to sort this mess out. So he should still be somewhere on board the ship? I can't say for sure that there's been no word from him since. Oh, hmm. dear lord, we're in trouble. Did you remember to grab the wine? Oh, it would put me at ease just to hear from him. I'm sure he's fine. The professor's no stranger to strenuous physical ex exertion. You should see him in the field. I'm sure she has, and so like colleagues. Yes, he should be fine. This is so messed up. Huh? I love how it gives you an hour to say, huh? <laughs> the professor's missing or worse, but the suicidal loony girl, she's right here, peachy as can be. Oh my god! Shouldn't it be the other way around? You're always dragging the professor down with your death wish crap, and you're the one who's fine? <gasps> oh my god, why is everyone so mean? I thought Maria was nice. She's a villain. She's a villain at heart. Just leave me alone. You look like a scary brat doll. I said too much, I spoke out of turn, and I might say far worse if I have to keep looking at your face. <laughs> oh my god. I was so looking forward to going to the ball with Harry, but now I'm stuck with this bitch. Let me talk to you instead. Please don't be mean to me. Nothing's getting through that, that door. We should be safe hunkering something. Help is coming? Yeah, right. Hell if I know, but now shit's hit the fan. Someone from the crew must have at least sent out a distress call, right? Anyway, did you see either Monica or Jessica on the way down? I didn't, and I can't reach them by phone or text. I know I haven't seen them. Damn, I'm sure they are stowed away somewhere safe just like us, though. Well, Jessica's stowed away, but... She's got a, she's got a little problem. She's got a little problem in her stomach. What else do you have to say? I'm going to go look for Monica. What? You serious? Yes, and also the professor and Jessica. We haven't confirmed everyone is safe after all. I don't have anywhere to go. Gee, wow, you really do have a death wish. You know there's a murderous freak on the rampage. I'm aware of that, but I also want to find a way out of this crisis and especially find Harry. Mm, Harry. Whoa, since when were you the proactive type? Oh, right, your death wish must have busted your instincts for survival. <laughs> oh my god, these people are evil. They're like bullying her. Aw, oh, hell, it's your life. Go throw it away. See if I care. Oh my god, I wish Rooney would just like use her psychic magic powers and set these people on fire or something. Right, you never qualified to be a member of the bitch brigade. Hold up, I'll send the details your way. You added Monica and Jessica to your contact list. Well, the Jessica one is useless. <laughs> I'm just saying. Listen, it's not just you and me using this place to hide. Everyone back here wants to make it out of this alive. I don't really care about anyone in this room. So if you come running back here with that freak on your tail, there's no way I'm opening this door. Got it. I won't do anything to lead it back here. Damn straight. Don't let your guard down out there. You might be a loony with a death wish, but I'd feel better waking up in the morning if people I know aren't murdered. 
Oh my god. Ugh. Angie's the only nice one. I hope Angie survives. I hope Maria dies brutally. I hope Kelly gets cut in half. And her entrails spread all over the world. We don't have anything to use this elevator. Oh, I can't even interact with it. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here after I get to a save point. Can I use that? No. All right, guys, I'm ending this episode here. Thank you for bearing with me. Sorry this one was really schizophrenic. Um, I hope to see you in the next episode. Hopefully there won't be any crashing problems and uh, some of these bitches can start dying. That would be ideal.